Hallelujah, praise master Jesus. Someone has been hiding a monitoring device in your house. I take this particular title again. Someone has been hiding a monitoring device in your house in the name of Jesus. I use this great medium opportunity to welcome you again once more in the name of Jesus. This is not a prophetic word you should screw. It's something you should watch from the beginning to the end. The Lord opened my eyes. I saw a device that has been placed in your house. This device is there for a purpose and for assignment. From the very first day this particular person placed this device, you have noticed a change. There are signs that you have seen, but you are unable to, to sense it, that something is going on. I'm going to be exposing to us some small, small things, some small, small signs that we have been seeing in our house, but we don't know where those signs are coming from. The Lord showed me a device that has been placed somewhere as a monitoring camera in the name of Jesus. I use this medium opportunity to welcome you again in the name of Jesus. Can we start by subscribing, liking, and sharing? The Lord bless you all, family, for in Jesus' name. And please, if you're led by the Spirit of God, I will plead with each and everyone to join the membership of this YouTube page. As you're watching me, after this particular prophetic word, just tap on this ministry page. On this YouTube page, you are going to see the join button under the channel members. Click the join button. Join the channel members so that you will become part of the members of this great family. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen and amen. The Lord bless you for joining. God bless you for liking and sharing. God bless you, amazing people of God, for in Jesus' name. This particular prophetic word talks of a monitoring device. Hallelujah. One thing I've learned with God is that whenever you see something happening somewhere constantly, do not focus on individual. Praise Master Jesus. One thing we have been limited is because when we see things happen once, we consider it as an error, twice error. When it triple, when it keep on happening, we keep on considering it as an error. Meanwhile, in the realms of the spirit, things does not happen like that. Whenever something happened before you want to, it's a serious warning. One, two, it's a serious warning. You must take it seriously. Praise Master Jesus. Yes, you must take it serious. Um... There is a particular village or a culture whereby in, in my country where that culture is all about short people. So in that culture, in that particular community, everybody there is a short, 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 short. So if you're born in that particular family, if your wife is pregnant, you already have the 99% assurance that your wife must give birth to, to a short person. Now, you cannot just break into such a territory and you're trying to pray for an individual and say, no, I want to pray for sister one, sister two, sister three, that you are going to give birth to, to a third child. This is a power that is controlling that territory from the origin that you cannot just break it like that. So for you to be able to address such a power, you must do it from the source and from the spring because the, the problem was not individual. It's a, it's a community problem. Praise Master Jesus. So whenever you see so many cases, so many similarity in outcome, it calls, it shows that there is a control force that is controlling the territory in the mighty name of Jesus. I saw a device. Somebody visited you and dropped something in your house. Someone visited you with something that was not good and dropped it in your house. And this particular thing, from the very first day they dropped these things, in your house that very night you had a dream you had a very bad dream you had a very bad dream where you wake up in the morning you are asking yourself what is actually going on and since you had that bad dream you have you, you, you have just like you have developed the spirit of fear fear was not in you but right now you live in fear anything you're doing you do in fear and each time you go out during the night you're afraid even when you're sitting somewhere, you're afraid. At times you feel as somebody calls your name. At times you feel as somebody just touch you. At times, even when you are in the room, like trying to like change your clothes, you feel the presence of somebody around you watching you. It's like monitoring spirit. If you see a rat passes, you don't see it as a rat. You have this strong feeling that this rat is an agent or something saying, have you 
be noticing such. God wants you to know something prophetically. God wants you to know something prophetically. When you see similarity in outcome, stop focusing on individuals. Praise Master Jesus. If you give birth to your child, the face is blind. We can consider that to look on it as individual. But you cannot give birth to your first child is blind, second one blind, third blind. Then we are focusing on individual. No. Those similarities show that there is a force that we need to deal with in the realms of the spirit. Praise Master Jesus. But as, as I'm speaking to somebody, this particular altar is going down. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. As I'm speaking to someone, this altar is going down. This particular person meant it for bad. They, they place this altar there, this particular device there for bad. But God is turning it for your good. They placed it there for bad, but God is turning it for your good. In the name of Jesus. I want to use this medium opportunity so that we can pray together. Wherever you are watching or connecting. In the name of Jesus. Can we lift up our hands as a point of surrender to the Lord? Father, we raise up our hands. We surrender every altar that has been fighting us into your hands. Take total control, Lord. For in Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless you, family. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to like and share a prophetic word. God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen.